Sometimes when I'm trying to get to sleep, all I can think about is trying to paint a Vermeer, who some consider the greatest painter of all time. At the face of it, that seems almost impossible, because I'm not a painter. I'm a computer graphics guy, and we use technology to make a realistic, beautiful image. Tim and I have been friends for a really long time. I didn't know he had this whole little sub-obsession with Vermeer. I'm looking at this image, and I see something that looks like it came out of a video camera. This fall off of light is something that an artist really cannot see. There must be a way to actually get the colors accurate with mechanical means. I propped up a small mirror at a 45-degree angle right on the forehead, you can see that they match. Holy cow. Took me about half an hour to learn how to operate a paintbrush. Good for you, it took me 40 years. <laughs> it's possible that he was more of a tinkerer, more of a geek, and in that way, I feel a kinship with him. So you're going to construct a replica of the exact room where Vermeer painted? That's right. The harpsichord, the Spanish chair, the viola da gamba, the rug. The wind's trying to blow my shape. Well, this certainly is not easy. Well, this is very ingenious. That's where the painting is, Buckingham Palace. Using Tim's device, you become a machine. I'm proposing an alternate history of Vermeer. Was Vermeer a machine? Oh, my God. I think it might disturb <laughs> quite a lot of people. If we weren't making a film, would I quit? Yeah, I definitely would. Uh, yeah, I'd find something else to do right now.